put your reading materials away. I'd like to get started on the after dinner festivities. Let us all stand or recite the Pledge of the Nerds. I pledge to take pride in my quirks, obsessions, and perhaps embarrassing habits that only lead to my added intelligence and cleverness. I pledge to put knowledge over pleasures and comfort over fashion. I pledge to thee, O Hermes, God of knowledge, to uphold thy standards of aptitude. You may all be seated. I, like everyone else in this audience, have been counting down the days until the 16th National Esteeming of Radical Deftness Symposium, or NERDS, and longing for it to come sooner, faster, quicker. 16, as we all know, is an extraordinary number, for it is the only number whose representatives, 2 to the 4th and 4 to the 2nd, can be signified as A to the B equals B to the A, where A does not equal B. I think that this unique trait is indicative of what a stupendous conference this is going to turn out to be. I have fantasized about having the supreme honor of speaking to an audience like you since entering Erickson's second stage of psychosocial development. Having the unique opportunity to connect with so many people like myself is an unparalleled delight. Much the same feeling as sweeping a category in jeopardy when you're watching it at home, alone. My speech slot is ideal, for your bellies are full, thus causing nearly an avalanche of serotonin in your brain and making it much more likely that my words will be warmly received. I shall open with the words of feisty inspiration. We are a necessary and superior part of society. This is important for me to remind myself when particularly painful memories of being mocked for reading a book at recess resurface. In defiance, we must shake our fists at the bullies who stole our favorite Scooby-Doo Trapper Keepers or laughed crudely at the watch that we wore and still wear faithfully on our wrists. So much so that a tan line develops around it. Guess what? I know the time, and they don't. You look smooth and popular now, huh? I have a funny one that I'd like to pass along to all of you. Walk up to whomever you'd like to impress with your superior intellect and state, how about I be sine squared and you be cosine squared, so together we can be one. There are differing severities of nerdiness. Some of us cannot run any expanse without constantly calculating distance and time ratios. Others of us have scars on our tongues from all of the comebacks that we've bitten back that were aimed at mind-numbing stupidity. Even some refuse to read a document past the second sentence when blatant grammar errors are thrown around, such as the wrong there or your. Just know with assurance, you are not alone. Others are flinching too when someone starts a sentence with, So then the friends are at the movies last night? When such fatal grammar errors are committed, someplace, somewhere, an English teacher falls down dead. I have a personal testament of my nerd qualities abounding that I'm sure you'll all appreciate. When I was in seventh grade, I went on a school trip to Washington, D.C., and one of our stops was the Holocaust Museum. In rapture over the plethora of information there was to devour, I set about the museum with meticulous detail, making sure to read everything. When I was about two-thirds of the way through the museum, I felt a tap on my shoulder. It was one of the chaperones. She informed me that everyone was waiting for me, and I was by far the last person of our party in the museum. But what makes the situation truly comical is the fact that the bus had already started off down the street without me before one of my classmates had realized I was absent. Completely absorbed in the museum, I had failed to be alarmed or even noticed their neglect. Needless to say, I was more disappointed that I didn't get to finish my invasive viewing of the museum. We have a wonderful evening of intellectual merriment planned for all of you, and we even brought in Alex Trebek to assist us with our game of Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> I couldn't resist. You should have seen the disappointed looks on all of your faces. Of course, we're going to play Jeopardy. Thank you, everybody, for your time. Remember to take pride in your nerdiness. Without us, society would be lost. Are there any questions? I'm sorry, can we? Why did I choose this topic? 
Um, it was my senior year, and I wanted to have a little bit of fun with my presentation and kind of uh, show what I learned throughout my years of experience of uh, speaking, kind of display that to the audience. And I also kind of wanted to show the audience a little bit of my background and my past and who I am. So I decided to have a little bit of fun with my speech my senior year. Are there any other questions? Thank you very much.